Copy now. Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. So you need to be careful. Você viu este homem? Chame a segurança imediatamente se o vi. Great. They've set up a checkpoint. Security's headed towards you. Stick close to the crowd and you should be okay. Or look for a way around it. Looks like I'm close. Shit. Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too tight here. Se não me deixar entrar, vou perder o emprego. Temos que verificar sua identidade. Olha, aconteceu, só isso. A gente não queria que acontecesse. Tudo aconteceu. Sinto muito. Sente muito? Ela é minha irmã, cara. A porra da minha irmãzinha. Faz a porcaria da verificação. Que bando de merdinha. Passam 20 minutos simulando sexo anal e fatura milhões. Quebrou as costas trabalhando 80 horas por semana para tirar 100 pratas violentas. Agora tenho que ficar aqui para ser insultado por um glutamonte de terra.
We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. Oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too, and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly, and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation. If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No, not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha!
Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find Church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. Last words? Wait. A poor choice. Come to check up on Church? Make sure he's stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. What do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him.
There were rations inside the crates, medical supplies and clothing as well. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Just my luck. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. not wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a camp just north of here. It's where we'd normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's Ben. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? If you mind, just do as I ask. Thanking me when you hear what he's got planned. About time you showed up, listening. Fuck one to try something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. With a steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Forge. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as Church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? <laughs> of course not. Hiding in New York the last I heard, trying to keep a low profile. What on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all. All right, I need it.
Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Nah, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are ya? Not yet. together. Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Recovered from your beating, then? Benjamin Church is holed up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along, then. Follow me. Tell me something. Hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? Curiosity. Any other questions? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order. Purpose. Direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The Assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That for peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? 
He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobanels who profess to represent it. <laughs> it seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. The people have made their choice, and it was Washington. The people chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. That does not make it true. The only difference, Connor, the only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection. Hold a moment. Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it has replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here, then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement?
That should suffice. Follow me. Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The father of understanding guides us. You I recognize, not the savage. He is my son. Tasted of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go, then. Locked. Give me a moment. Must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. Always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How is she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. That's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuit. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Benjamin Church, you stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always did prefer principle to profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half-breed fight, like some feral dog. Best we put him down, boys. Those two! Get him! Don't let them escape! Get him! The Indian too! Take him down! That one! And he's half free! Throw them! Where is Church? I'll tell you anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. <laughs> you promised. And he kept his word. Let's go.
We need to get out of here. You don't say. so far. You'll need to find a way around the flames. Get back here, traitors! Oh, how I'll enjoy making you pay for your betrayal. The church pay you well, and you rewarded carefully. And what good does your gold do you now? Is it magic gold, you think? You can find something to pry it open. Honor? What are you up to? Oh, no. Don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side. We do now. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly for to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. Shall we? I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We need to ease up our sail. We are closer than you think, Father. Welcome. 
Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard. After them! Let's fly full sail. ship, given the way you sail. Take the wheel. She's passing between the cliffs, boy, and the appeal is too big to follow. We need to go around. We're going to lose him! What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us! The current here is swift. We still have a chance.
are you doing? Ending this. What has Church done with the cargo? It's been quite an adventure. Let me tell you, working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them anyway. I'll give you credit for that. And for the... came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? Yonder. A waiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steam? who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands. How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes, as though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the Crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. How dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. And would not be without cause. 
Zavanioski naa, et ti jah nete kaadud si toogaske. Passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality. But it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me? Or Suri? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I feared the Order allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened. Which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Aethem may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done.
These men have been found guilty of treason and conspiracy. Crimes punishable by death. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. We need to know what the Loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Then keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did. Until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Connor? Little help here? Keep the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them.
bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. Come to the Harrow's for the mighty... 